have a story. I didn't know what I was coming to tonight. I came by way of a chicken coop and a cat. And I get a call from Lauren Beatty in the back and says, I need a wing woman. <laughs> so I came. I know nothing about storytellers. This is my first time. Welcome. So thank you. And uh, I don't know what the weeds thing is. I don't know. So I'm here. I'm telling a story for Lauren. Um, two short stories, not two seven-minute long stories. Um, one is... I met Lauren by way of our children. They go to the same daycare. And before I met Lauren, she was a nerd. And I think she still is a nerd. Um, I used to look in on the camera at our daycare, and she was this weird lady holding my child. That always happened to be at daycare. So long story short, we become friends, and we are polar opposites. She is classy and works at Mount DeSales and is Catholic and everything is great in her life and I tend to be more of the laid back. My kids might have eaten a cigarette off the ground at Locos <laughs> when they were still open. I don't know what was happening. Um, so that's what brings me here tonight and so I was thinking to myself what do I tell? Lauren's back there giving me ideas of things to tell saying you wanted to be a rocket but you were too tall that's not a good story you ran while you were pregnant and you pooped at Tattnall Square Park on yourself that's not a good story so I was thinking I was like what do I tell this is last minute and so I thought I'm in the medical field everybody has been to the doctor so here's my doctor's story I treat patients as a I'm a therapist at Ortho Georgia and uh, <laughs> And so I am usually on the opposite end of being the patient, but when I am the patient, I try to be the cool patient. Like, I know the, all the typical things patients say that they think they're funny, and you're like, oh yeah, that's really funny, this is the first time I've heard that. Um, really, it's not. And uh, so I go to the dermatologist, and I am the patient. I'm fair-skinned, I'm never in the sun, and I wear sunscreen, I burn, and the lady asked me, she says, why are you here? And I say, well, I'm here for my annual checkup. Well, would you like to take your clothes off and, and put on a gown? And uh, I was like, well, that's why I'm here. Aren't you going to look at my skin? It's my whole body. It's the largest organ. I mean, can you do it all here? And she gives me the gown. So I'm sitting there awkwardly. And the doctor comes in. I won't tell you which doctor. And he says, do you have any issues? I say, no. But they always seem to find something. So he looks over my body and I say, well, I do have one spot that I am kind of concerned about. And it's a spot that never sees the sun and it's right here next to my nipple. <laughs> and so he looks at me and I'm in the gown, open faced. And so I'm like, well, I'm not gonna be modest. Here it is. <laughs> and so I open it up and he looks and he grabs the gown and he puts it over and he goes, okay, wait, let's restart. And he takes it and he gradually brings it over and he looks, he's like, let's biopsy it, let's be safe. So we get into the recline position and I'm sitting there and he brings his assistant in and I'm like, well, I'm not going to be modest, let's go, I got to get back to my patients. And he, I just open it up again and he goes, wait, wait, wait. And he grabs the other side of the gown and if you've ever been to the dermatologist, they're paper. And he pulls the gown over and it rips. And so now I'm exposed on the other side. And I just look at him and I'm like, well, here I am. And you should have seen this before, so I'm not going to feel awkward. I'm going to be confident, just like I am tonight. I don't know you people, but I'm up here telling a story. So then he's like, let's, let's take this. And he grabs the bottom of it and it rips. And I'm just completely exposed at this point. And I'm looking at him and he's looking at me. And he takes his scalpel and I can just feel the awkwardness, but I'm going to stay calm. And I'm like, just do what you have to do. It's nothing we haven't seen before. He, t he does his little procedure and he gets his little sutures and he puts two stitches in and he just rushes out of the room. It's the fastest procedure I've ever been in. And he looks, at, I look at the assistant and I was like, should we put anything over it? Like a Band-Aid or something? And she goes, um, should we put anything over it? He goes, yeah, a Band-Aid. And he shuts the door. She puts a Band-Aid on, I'm complete. And I'm like sitting there and she goes, and you can put your clothes on. That's it, that's my story for tonight.